Hi everyone, in this video we are going to talk about discrete random variables. Now discrete random variable is a variable that can take a countable number of possible values. So let x be a discrete random variable and x can only take a countable number of values. So say x can take n values. So x can take values x1 x2 all the way up to xn so n values now the probability of x taking value xi is given by p of xi this is probability of x taking the value or P of capital X equal to XI. Now, this P of capital X equal to XI is called the PMF, that is the probability mass function. mass function okay so how can we define this we can define this as p of xi because it's a probability it will be greater than zero for i equals one to all the way up to n that is probability of x equals x1 will be a value greater than zero and probability of xi equal to zero for all other values of x. x. Now, as x is a random variable, all the probabilities should add up to one. Okay, so essentially, we have probability of xi, i going from one to n, should add up to one, okay? So this is called the probability mass function. And now next we will talk about the cumulative distribution. Now the cumulative distribution, so we looked, talked about the PMF, now we're going to talk about the cumulative distribution or CDF, the cumulative distribution function, CDF. Now, how do we get that? So that is given by capital F of A, okay? That is equal to prop summation of all xi less than or equal to A, P of xi. So F of A will be all values of the probabilities of x for which till xi equals A, okay? So let's try to understand this uh, with an example. So let's take that, assume that x takes three values. One, comma, two, comma, three. These are the three values of x. And let's assume the probability of one equals half, probability of two equals one third, and probability of 3 will therefore be 1 over 6. Okay, so now if we want to, to draw or de determine the cumulative uh, distribution or CDF, so f of a can be written in this form. It will be given by 0 when a is less than or equal to, or it's not sorry, not equal to, but a is less than 1. So for a less than 1, it will be equal to 0. It will be equal to half for a less than or equal to, to 1 and less than 2. It will be equal to 5 over 6 for 
2 less than or equal to a less than 3. Okay, so a is greater than 2. So you're going to add p of 1 and p of 2. And when a becomes uh, greater than or equal to 3, when a becomes, then f of a will be 1. Because you're adding them. So f f by the time you cross a greater than or equal to 3, all the probabilities will add up to 1. Okay, so if you draw this, CDF on the cumulative distribution. So I can draw this as fx and x here along the x-axis. So x can take three values, one, two, and three. Okay, now the CDF, it will be, let me pick another color here. So initially the CDF will be zero till you reach this value of one and then this is one this five over six okay so when x becomes uh one will jump to half and it'll stay at half until x reaches this value of two that time the cdf will become five over six because you're going to add p of one plus p of two till three once again it will go like this and at 3 it will jump to 1 and beyond this value of 3 it will remain constant at 1. So this is how CDF looks like. It gives a step function. It's a step function. So a CDF will constantly increase and will become 1 at that time it will become constant. So what did we study in this video? We studied what is a discrete random variable. Oops. Studied what is a discrete random variable. That's what we studied here. Then we studied what is a PMF. And studied that the probability should add up to one. Then we looked at CDF. And what we understood by this simple example is that a CDF is a step function. Okay, with this, I'll conclude this video. Thank you for watching.